the neck pickup. <laughs> Today I'm going to do a little uh, slide guitar lesson. This is a uh, plain slide guitar in the style of Dwayne Allman. First of all, um, there's been a lot of things used over the years. I think the some of the first slide players used a pocket knife or the neck of a wine bottle or a whiskey bottle or a medicine bottle. And that's what Dwayne used. Of course, Eden bottle works well. and Or you can use a brass slide, something metal works pretty good. Some of the keys to getting Dwayne Allman's tone, first of all, would be uh, having a guitar with humbucking pickups, like uh, Dwayne played mostly on a Les Paul or SG, Gibson SG or Gibson Les Paul, and uh, this is a Gibson Firebird with humbucking pickups, which gets a real similar tone. Uh, Paul Reed Smith or uh, Epiphone, there's a lot of guitars with humbucking pickups. And don't necessarily have to have humbuckers, but you get closer to Dwayne's tone. Next thing is uh, just basic slide technique or Dwayne's technique. Tune the guitar to an open E, which is E, B, E, G sharp, B, E. It's basically just tuned to an E chord. You want to keep the slide directly over the fret where if you were playing with your fingers and you wanted to play this note, it'd be between the frets. But with the slide, you, you want to get it right over the fret itself. To get Dwayne's tone also, uh, you need a certain amount of overdrive. He played through a Marshall 50 watt bass head, turned basically all the way up. And then for his solos, he would hit a fuzz face, like a fuzz box, uh, to get a little more gain. And he, generally would play on the neck pickup plain slide which is the up position here and uh, sometimes on the treble pickup with the tone rolled back a little bit so um, i prefer to use it on the neck pickup myself so sometimes flip it around for a little different tone Another technique for playing slide uh, in Dwayne's style is to play a note but not to let all the other notes ring. So you would, while you're playing like this, uh, that D note there at the 10th fret on the D string, you'll play that like I would play it with my first finger and then mute the strings around it with my thumb and my other finger. So. So you try not to let all the other strings ring while you're doing it. So I'll play uh, the Stage World Blues intro. basic intro to Statesboro Blues. Here's a few of the licks you can play in this position. Like on the D string you can play uh, from the 8th, 9th, or 10th fret. You can also play the 8th, 9th, or 10th fret on the A string. You can play uh, the A string and then mute it and hit the D string and then slide it up a half step at a time. And then another thing is vibrato plain slide. You'll 
go to your fret and then you can move the slide around just to give it the vibrato like a, like you would with your fingers or uh, basically simulating the sound of a voice. Uh, Dwayne's slide playing to me simulated the sound of a harmonica or the human voice. Kind of a honking uh, sound. Anyway, we'll go uh, on the D string. On the G string, normally you would stay on the ninth or 10th fret. Or you can go to the ninth fret and let it slide off. On the uh, G string and B string, you can play those in combination with each other. You can go from the seventh fret to the 10th fret. So you're picking the G, and then when you pick the B string, you'll mute the G string. That's the 13th fret on the B string. Another one of Dwayne's signature licks. Go to the uh, G string and the B string, pick the G and then the B, and then slide down on the B string. Another signature lick of Dwayne's is. Uh, Play the B string and the E string at the 10th fret, still in the key of D. So you're sliding up on the B string to the 10th fret, and then you mute that string and hit the, the first string or the E string. And another one of his signature licks would be to play that lick and then slide the from the 10th fret to the 13th fret on the first string. And another thing for playing slide is playing repeating licks where you you play a similar lick, you know, three or four times in succession. experiment from there. I'll play a few licks in the key of D and then uh, I'll do another lesson on uh, Statesboro Blues and maybe a couple other Almond Brothers songs. Um, but I'll just kind of uh, improvise around in Dwayne's style in the key of D. Mm -hmm. 